so it's Tuesday morning it's been going all night I uh, don't think it's done much to be honest with you so a quick look Pretty much bugger all but 11.94 amp peak so I've got to go out when I get back I'll change it to the take it down and change it to the bigger cog see what we get Jeez. so yeah it's not doing much so basically I'm gonna take it down and change the gear see if that makes any difference If you can see what's happened there, the chain started to come off because uh, I do not know what's happened to this bolt, which is obviously a bit of a problem when I'm putting up and taking it down. But anyway, we're going to crack on because it won't fall out, and that's that. So, what I've got to do now is undo the four bolts two on here and two on here, then that drops the whole shaft down, and then I'll deal with that as long as there's no damage. Tell you what guys, this is pretty crazy, I've never seen that before. See the uh, bolts have just disappeared out of the bearing. So maybe I didn't tighten them up properly, so what I think what's happened is it slid forward, it slid backward, sorry, you can see they're still in those ones. But the back ones are gone. Very strange, so I guess that kind of explains what happened. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on playing about with it and try and Get it set up on the bigger one and just uh, see if I want to put it up again. A good route to get a bolt on that fits on there, which is an M14. Because uh, if I do get that on there, that should be fine. I had worried for a minute that the shaft was actually bent because what had happened. It's obviously come, f the whole blade mechanism has come forward because those uh, bolts had come out and uh, the chain had kind of jumped out a little bit and it had basically stretched it so much I had to continually undo these bolts just to get it to come down enough to uh, get the chain off the chain gear. So I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work and I shouldn't really be putting it back up but you know I will. Aha, I've come up with an epic bodge for now. See that bit of threaded bar? And I've put two bolts on here. So that's just forcing that right into the right place on the back of that nut. And let's see around here. I'm not sure if you can see, but the wire is actually okay in the middle. So what I need to do now, everything's falling off. I need to start making stuff better. That's what you get when you're making it on a budget. It just falls to pieces all the time. You have to fix it. So now I need to find two bolts to go in here. I'm shocked that they've come out, but I need to start using actual bolts rather than just grub screws. And realistically, what I need to do is take the shaft off sometime and drill uh, a hole, you know, where that lines up and sort of have two different holes. So one hole right underneath there and one further forward so that I can shovel these along and there's still a hole for the grub screws to fit in. But yeah, it's looking like we're going to bodge it up and get it going again. Go on, girl. Messed about with it a lot. Got the chain where it appears to be at its best, which is loose. I don't know why that is, but that's not going to come out. 
nothing else should go wrong but no more taking it down while it's spinning around at 100 rpm so final tightening up and then we'll give it a go So now doing at the minute, we'll wait a minute, see if you can get going. Go on, come on. I haven't put the tower all the way up yet, which obviously involves tightening up the guide rope. So I just want to see, it doesn't really need to be fully vertical for it to catch the wind. So if it's catching the wind, which is looking good, slowly but surely. She's definitely thinking about it. Yes, my friends, we might have some in here. see it wobbling back and bouncing back and forward in the wind and that the guide ropes are really saggy because they're not fully done up yet. So what's happening at the moment is the speed of the blade is being uh, constrained by the battery so you can see it can't get to going around very fast which is maybe a good thing I've just got to tighten all the stuff up on the tower and then uh, I'll get the other battery out and we'll see what's... Right so I've reset the meter and now we're just waiting for some wind. So, not a lot at the minute, but we'll leave it on and see what happens. So I'm just going to leave it with the meter connected and I'm not sure what it's going to do, how much power it's going to make, but the next video I'll take it down and I'll put the five blades on the back and hopefully we'll get some more power out of it. Peace. Right, I've got another battery so I'm going to put it on to record the meter. That's what it's saying at the minute, alright? So yeah, I'm going to change that to time lapse and we'll just leave it on for a bit, see what it does. You can see the chain's still flapping a bit when it moves around this way a little bit. Yeah, you can see it there. But it does seem to make it a lot easier to spin with a loose chain. I don't know if that's because of my bad engineering or something, it's not how it should be, but 